Well, hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, the Bayamente y tu y yo. And today we're going to discuss and review my budget from the first two weeks of April, as well as do a little bit of a cash stuffing, put some coins away in Phineas and Fiona, and also discuss a brand new savings challenge that I'll be starting in my very next video. I'm going to show it to you here, and I want to give you guys a chance to download it for free and then play along with a few channels that will be involved. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into the video. All right, you guys, so to start off, I was like, what am I gonna film? Yes, I could have filmed an Etsy shop blog, but I'm, gonna not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Since I've been working nursing, literally when I get home and I do Etsy orders, or if I do them like on my days off, I'm trying to hustle through and make sure I get them out on time because I've been working, you know? So I don't take the time to like set up the camera and make a whole shop blog like I could. Um, and then in the down times, I've been spending a lot of time with my guy and my son. And so, you know, just, and relaxing, I'm not gonna lie, and trying to find time to relax in between all that. Um, when I got back from Mexico, I really feel like I wanted to jumpstart my finances. And when I get into that mode, y'all, I be on hustle flow. But the fruits of those labors have not manifested themselves yet. So we got to wait more towards the end of the month so we can see some of that payoff for the work that's been done. But for right now, I thought I'd bring a budget and cash stuff to explain to you guys what I've done with my first couple of checks that I've cashed out and how I've spent some of the money already and what little bit I have left, we will go ahead and put that away. Also, I wanted to clean out my wallet. I have a few ones to put away and um, uh, some coins. So let's go ahead and talk about the budget and you can see how every dollar has already been spent. And then we'll also talk about the free savings challenge that I have that I want you guys to play along with. First up is the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner, second edition. This is probably gonna be a really short and sweet video, but um, let's see, for the month of April, April showers bring May flowers. I'm looking for my flowers in April, I don't know about y'all. But um, <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the budget here. I did receive an RN pay for $273, and also I cashed out Etsy for $316. I've been pushing myself not to cash out Etsy early because I'm the one who, if you don't know, with Etsy, you literally can go in there every day and just cash out whatever's there. And I was like, let me just hold off and cash out on Friday. So I'm going to cash out tomorrow and it'll pay in my account on Friday. And that way I'll have a cash stuffing to bring to you guys this weekend. Um, also, my YouTube pay will be hitting probably on Monday. So there'll be another cash stuffing on Monday. So we got some money about to start rolling in, but you know, it just takes a little bit of time. You just got to be patient. You see what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, Etsy, um, I will be doing a cash stuffing for that probably like on Saturday. Okay. Um, so, so far I've only had these two incomes, but as you can see, I had to pay Xfinity, my line of credit, and I went ahead and paid stream because I said I would, instead of holding off out of Etsy, this is not really a large Etsy check. I've had some, um, sales that I've had, which is great, but it's not a ton of money for me to go back and pay stream and then pay some things moving forward. I said, let me just catch these three up and whatever I have left will make work for the first two weeks. So, and it's really just the first week. Cause remember the very first week I was in Mexico. So for the past week, so let's talk about what I actually did with the money. I had my nursing pay of $273 and Etsy of $316 for a total of $589. Out of that, I did go ahead and pay those three bills, $130 to the line of credit, $253 to Xfinity, and then stream for $136. That is my flat rate bill. And that came to a total of $519 and I only had $70 left. And I was like, you know what? I got to get gas. So I went ahead and put $25 in the tank and Jace and I got $5 worth of snacks, which came to $30. It was really Jace. I've got a couple packs of Nowlators. If y'all don't know, I love Nowlators, okay? <laughs> and then groceries, I went ahead and spent a little bit less than 40, which is why I have some ones in my wallet was because I really just needed to get some meat. Um, we already, and some fruit. I got meat and fruit. We already have frozen vegetables and we already have a lot of staples in the cabinet. So I just got a, a couple of packs of meat and um, some fruit for us to deal with, which bananas, y'all, is the move. They the cheapest of the cheap, but we did get some berries as well. So that came to a total of $70 and there was nothing left, nothing for sinking funds, savings challenges, none of that. If you've been watching my shorts, I pre-recorded those before I went to Mexico. And so I took some of my Etsy money and used that in order to make the pre-recording of those reels. 
And so I haven't been having any additional money come in as of right now, but I'm okay. You know, your girl's eating, she's driving, she's getting back and forth to work. I do have a small Etsy payout that'll be coming very soon. And then I'll start to get to some of the larger checks. So I'm totally comfortable with it. But that is exactly what has happened to me over the last week. So let's go ahead and empty out my wallet because I did want to get those coins out of there. So we'll bring on Fiona and little Phineas. You guys, I've been itching to make some more cash envelopes because these I spilled coffee on. And if you could see, they kind of look dingy looking or something. I loved them before when they were sparkly, but after you use them a while, things get on them and they start to look dingy. So I wanted to use some matte laminate and make some that are kind of like the, like the ones that are in my Monopoly cash because I like the look and feel of these. So these are made out of matte laminate and then I will put vinyl on top and have those in here. Can you see how fire that would be? Um, <laughs> so, so I've been thinking about that. I don't even know what color vinyl because I have a few colors now. But that is something that I've been thinking about. I'm only two circles in. I'm on Monop Monopoly cash. Let me put him away. That is something that I've truly been thinking about though. So if you see new cash envelopes coming shortly, you know why. Or I just need to wash them off because like I spilled coffee on them. I don't know if you guys could see, but there's like coffee it just upset me okay it just changed my spirit about the envelopes anyway i think i have some seashells by the seashore and there might be a peso or two in here because i've not cleaned this out since i got back from mexico so let's just see what we got oh a broken seashell all right you always want to bring something back from the sea so i have some seashells that i had and I actually post this on Instagram, I think a picture like this. And then I have a peso, a $1 peso, is that it? Oh no, wait, what is this? Oh no, that's a nickel. Yeah, so these I'm gonna put over here on my desk inside of my little container. And those will be the memories from Mexico. All right, so these little coins I'm gonna get out of here so I can start fresh. Um, if you guys don't know, Miss Fiona is the one that holds all my silvers and then little Phineas holds my pennies. Somebody asked me if I still sold these on Etsy because she couldn't find them in my shop. And I was like, oh yeah, no, I sold out, sorry. And I've not restocked them. I am thinking about doing it again soon, but just not as of right now, you know? So there's that. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to Phineas and Fiona. All right, the only other thing I have is the money I have left from the grocery store and some receipts from mexico should i keep the receipts from mexico no i don't think so i'll probably get rid of them but anyway i do have some ones back here and instead of putting them in big bertha i think i'm gonna color in and get started on our quarterly savings challenge one two three four five six dollars so let's go ahead and put the six dollars towards our quarterly savings challenge all right so let's see what was i putting it in oh rainy was it rainy day no, putting the puzzle together. This is the one that I've been putting all the uh, quarterly challenges in, putting the puzzle together. I need to make an envelope and stop playing. Maybe I'll make me some envelopes as well. I'm feeling like I want to revamp my stuff because it's been, you know, quite some time. So, anywho, let's move on over to the quarterly challenge that's in the Easy Cash um, Weekly Planner, second edition. There's one of these for every quarter. I have $6 to put in, which is totally doable for this one. It's supposed to add up to 150, but somebody already told me it adds up to 153. So whatever. We're going to color and save our little $6. Now, they got to figure out how to do it. Uh, do I want to color lots or little? Because I literally could just color one $6 block, but because I'm so extra, I'm going to try to color in as many as I can. So let's go ahead and do one. I should be saving these when times are hard. Well, actually, times are hard right now. So there's that part. Okay, so there's one. Another one. These color in the square ones are like such becoming my favorite. I love to color now. And before I was like a scratch girl. But these colored ones be looking bomb when they're all complete. Um, so wait, one, two, three. And a simple square is right my style because look, your girl can't barely stay in the lines, okay? <laughs> and that's on everything. Okay, and then we'll do a three. And believe it or not, I didn't go for anything pink today, which is very rare. But 
that's it. Let me put my markers back. All right, and so we'll have $6 total done in the quarterly challenge, and we're gonna put that in the putting the puzzle together because I'm gonna combine quarter one, two, three, and four all in here, and then we'll reallocate. I'm feeling like I want a huge like counter up of all the savings challenges at the end of the year. And there's a part of me that thought about taking one of those little binder books that I have, hold on, one of these, and like putting labels here for each challenge that I complete. And at the end of the year, count up the whole thing. But I don't know if it'll be too fat, you know, because this is kind of like slim in regards to how much money I'm expecting. So for right now, I'm leaving it in little um, envelopes, but maybe I'll make some clear envelopes like these that already have um, labels on them for each individual type of challenge, you know, and put it in this binder. So anyway, right now, when I added the $6 to the quarterly challenge, we now have 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 216. And that's right, because it was 210 on the last quarterly challenge, even though it was only supposed to be 200. Your girl's math wasn't mathing per use. So there was 210 saved from that one. And then now we just add another six. So that's 216 in there. All right, let's talk about the free savings challenge I want you guys to play along with. Let me get her going. This is she. All right, so the couple of things. First of all, um, yours might print a little bit brighter and more vibrant. <laughs> My yellow toner is out, and so it's kind of fading in the yellow row, but it's fine. This is for the Budgeting Besties Bingo, okay? And that's what we're calling it. And this is a challenge that was created on a Zoom call with some of the members from my channel. So I do have a membership program in my channel. There is a Zoom call where we go through step-by-step -step how to create products and we created this savings challenge. Now, it looks a little different when you print it in A6 size. And if you print it, you can select default as the print setting and it will print A6. So you can cut it out and put it in your binder and it will have a red trim like all the way around. I said fit to page because I wanna have it big enough that you guys can see the numbers and can see the names of whose channel to go to next. So the way this, this challenge is gonna work and the reason why I'm introducing it today, but this weekend we'll be actually playing the game for the first time with me. I put on the 19th, so that'll be the first time we should actually be playing this game. Um, what you do is you're, we're gonna be spinning a wheel. Okay, just like my wheel of names, we spin the wheel and the wheel is gonna say like red three, I, I mean, uh, blue eight, purple one, whatever it is, and we're gonna save that dollar amount. Now, if you notice every couple of days, every two days, we're going to someone's channel and they're gonna be spinning the wheel. So I do wanna talk about the channels that are on here that are gonna be playing. I'll be doing the one on the 19th to kick it all off. This digital download of this challenge will be down in my description box, but you also should be able to go to any of these channels and find the, the um, challenge down in their description as well, because I'm going to share the link with the members so they can post it also. Okay. So that way everybody will have a chance to all play along. I would love if you would go and subscribe to all these channels, but if not minimally head over to their channels to watch when they actually draw the next bingo, because whenever we hit bingo, whether it's diagonal, straight up and down, straight across, then we might stop or we might continue to do a blackout of the whole total thing, okay? But you'll know how much to save to stay up to date. So there's that part. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'll create a besties budgeting bingo envelope for myself so that I'll have this information all, I mean this, so that I'll have this dollar amount all separated. But, and I'll be able to update you on what the other channels had, but I would love it if you would go over and watch their videos, you know, so that way you can support them and learn about other channels. There's not a whole lot of channels that are listed here that wanted to participate. So, you know, it's not too much work for you to do it. All right. So let's see. For me on the 19th, next is going to be Kelsey from Better Budget Life. And she's going to pull on the 21st. Life with Deb Renee, she's going to pull on the 23rd. Sue from Sue's Budget is going to pull on the 25th. Becky from Becky's Budget Journey is going to pull on the 27th. Rami from Budget Paparazzi on the 29th. And then HSB Home Spa Beauty, she's going to pull on May 7th. So hopefully by May 7th, we will have hit bingo. But let's just say we didn't. Then we'll come up with another schedule for the rest of May for you to continue on on the be busting budget, busting budgety. The, this is a tongue twister. We came up with this name. Y'all, it's a tongue twister. Okay, 
We'll, then we'll come up with another schedule for the month of May for the budgeting besties bingo until we finally hit bingo or if we decide we want to continue until we hit a blackout. Now, the only questionable ones are the dollar signs, which is one here, one here, one here. If the dollar signs are pulled, then we agreed we would pick a number, a random number, 20 or below. So the most you might have to save when you watch one of these videos is $20. But, you know, some are a dollar, some are eight, some are six. So hopefully you can keep up. If not, jot the numbers down on the side of your challenge. And when you get paid, put in the money that way. You know what I mean? So you don't have to think like, oh, I have to every two days put money over here and I don't have it. Because trust me, if they was pulling every two days right now, your girl ain't got it either. You saw I just cashed up $6. She ain't got it. But when I get paid, I probably will put some to the side, you know, maybe $100, maybe $50, just so that I can always have the money by, regardless of whatever the pool. The largest number on here number-wise is number 13 in the green area, but everything else is pretty one-digit numbers except, and we try to keep it so it will be low budget friendly as well, except for the dollar signs. But someone could hit a dollar sign and not really have it. If I hit one today, I would be saying, um, one peso. You see what I'm saying? Because that's all I got left. <laughs> so that's about where we at right now. Okay. So this challenge will be available down in the description. Like I said, print it in default size if you want a six or print it in full page to fill the page. It's a drop down menu on your printer settings. Fill the page if you want a full page one like this. And I just printed mine on some, you know, basic cardstock, nothing too serious. And we're ready to go. All right, I hope you guys can play along with me. And you know what? Honestly, even if you don't print the tracker, I think if you don't have a printer, because I know a lot of you guys don't have a printer and sometimes you guys have asked me to print things for you. If you don't have a printer, you still can follow along. You literally can jot down the pools in a book. And then whenever you get the money, stuff it or stuff it along the way as you watch the videos. When I put out my video, I'll be directing you to go to Kelsey's channel. And when Kelsey from Better Budget Life does her video, she'll be directing you to go to Life with Deborah Renee. Life with Deborah Renee will um, forward you over to Sue's Budget. So you'll know every two days where you should be headed to watch a video. And don't forget to watch mine while y'all watching everybody else's, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. Expect to see this in my next cash stuffing video. All right. Uh, I feel like I've not spent any time with my family. It's so short. This is such a short video. But you know what? I do have a live coming up with the members tonight. And I do want to schedule just a regular live giveaway. Like, let's take it back to the old school. You know what I'm saying? And do like a live giveaway, maybe towards the end of the month. I have my calendar on my phone and I'm filming on my phone. So when I come back to you guys on the 19th um, with the cash stuffing, I will discuss what day I should be setting up for a live for everybody to participate and for us to be able to do giveaways. So I'm super excited about that. I want to do that at the end of the month. Um, so yeah, expect to hear from me about that. And yeah, I think that is everything for today. If you ordered something from me, trust me, your orders are on the way. I've been processing orders. I'm not behind on any. I'm up to date I'm, and actually ahead on some. So thank you so much for anybody that's been supporting me, even though I've been not so visible, you know, this past couple of weeks, you know, between my vacation and returning to nursing. Oh, about nursing. Oh, yeah. There's a part of me that is so like ready to hit it hard and go all the time. The money can add up really quick in nursing. And that's the thing, like since being away from there and only working like four days a month, I really had the mindset like, oh no, I'm not gonna pick up anything extra. But when I had to go two days a week, I'm like, well, I might as well go three. When I go three, I'm like, I might as well go four. You know, they always need help. And if they don't need help on my floor, they need help on another floor. So it's just easy to get really sucked into doing the most. And I don't want to do that as much as I want the cash. I don't want to like work my life away and not have any fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, so anyway, like I said, when I got back from Mexico, I was on hustle hard culture. Like I'm hustling hard and busting it down. But next week, I think I'm going to like slow it down for a week. Maybe I'll do one week, two days, one week, four days, one week, two, one week, four, you know, and kind of switch it off like that. So I can always have like a down week. I don't know. If you guys are PRN nurses or part-time nurses, let me know what y'all be doing because there's always hours to be had. And then there's recruiters calling me about contracts that offered. And I could just see myself floating out here being greedy in the nursing world. And I'm like, no, no, no. Then I won't have time for my YouTube, my cash budgeting, my vlogs that I want to get back into. Like those things bring me true joy. So I'm trying to balance 
the things that bring me true joy and the things that bring me great amounts of money, you know, <laughs> which equals freedom, you know, so there's like a little bit of all that trying to be balanced out. Anyway, I hope you guys understand. Just know I'm around and I love you guys. I miss you all. And we're going to do some cash stuff and come the second half of this month. Don't worry. Things are about to speed up real soon. Keep watching. All right. I think that's everything. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. And like this video because it'll help it to be suggested to other people who might need to see. Sometimes you don't have money to cash stuff. And you know what? Life moves on. It's okay. As long as you're not overspending and doing things you don't need to do and you're budgeting and knowing where your money's going, you're doing just fine. Lastly, share this video with someone if you think they could benefit from the free challenge that we have going on or even just like I said, learning about budgeting and that it's not all about how much you put into your sinking funds or save, but sometimes you just have enough to get by and that is okay. All right. I think that's everything for today. I appreciate you guys for being here. I love you and we will talk very soon. Take care.